Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and in this video, I'm going to show you some ways to make sure that your images and your pages in your altered books, uh, art journals, and other mixed media projects are glued down flat and stay flat. Images and pages. This is not the sexiest video I've ever made, but here's the deal. And a surprising amount of people in the last couple of weeks have asked me, how do you get your pages so flat? So one thing I know is that if uh, some people are asking, other people are wondering. And um, so I am making this video to show you my secrets. First, I want to just uh, say that I do have an online newsletter that goes out every other week. Uh, this coming up next one is going to have some uh, high-res scans of some botanical flower sheets. Uh, these will be free, 300 DPI. You can download them and uh, print them and use them in your own work. So if you think you might like that, there's a link to my newsletter subscription form in the, the text below. Uh, also, if this is way later, um, please just send me a message and I will get you these. Let's glue stuff. Now, this altered book is one that I've started. I have shown uh, previously several videos about making different layouts in an altered book, but it's still very much uh, in progress. So I can show you here that an important component of it is gluing pages together, and that's going to be where you work. The reason for this is because it's an altered book is going to take a lot of uh, paint and gluing and embellishment. It's going to get chunky, and you need a substrate that's uh, robust. So I glue three, four, five occasionally six pages together. The first thing that you're going to need, your first secret weapon, is some parchment paper. It could be wax paper, deli paper, grease proof, whatever. And that is because when you start gluing, it is really easy to glue parts of your book to other parts of your book that you didn't uh, mean to do. And that will end in tears. Believe me, I know I found out the hard way. Secret weapon number two is your adhesive. I use a, an acrylic gel, matte medium, well, gloss. In any way, an acrylic gel, golden or Liquitex usually. They can be uh, pricier than a PVA. I try to buy mine on sale or when I have a coupon. But I, I love the way it's got a lot of slip and it gives you control over your pages. If you don't have a gel medium, please uh, stay with me because I am also going to show in a, a minute or two a hack for working with PVA to make it a little more friendly. So don't, don't go away. Basically, I'm just going to take a brush and my gel medium and make a nice, even, generous, but not gloppy coat. Make sure, you know, hold it to the light, make sure that everything is covered. Okay. Now, secret weapon number whatever we're on, and that is a bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, get creative. I also like this spatula that uh, I think came from the painting section of a hardware store. Cheap, cheap, cheap. You can also use the side of a butter knife, actually. Again, cover your pages so that your glue isn't going to get on your bone folder or you. And you want to really get in there and make sure that your seal is sealing. 
Okay, here on the corners and on the sides especially. What you're doing here is working the glue so that it, you're even getting a more even coat. Now, this is already okay. You, you could work here if you wanted to, but I have one last secret weapon, and that is something heavy. Because I strongly suggest that you take a clean piece of greaseproof paper and protect the pages from themselves, and then weight it all down. Okay. Uh, under something heavy. I, I use a book press, but you can use a stack of encyclopedias or dictionaries. I realize that a lot of us don't have stacks of dictionaries anymore. Um, so if you don't, I suggest that you, you ask some friends or neighbors because uh, I can promise you that someone you know has a bunch of these in... Uh, in, the, in their closet or, or basement, and they are really looking forward to giving them to a good home and getting rid of them. Trust me. Okay, so, glue three, four, five pages together, protect them, and then weight them down, and let them dry for a couple of hours. Uh, I like to leave mine longer uh, four hours or maybe even overnight, which is why I tend to work on several projects at once so that while one is, is uh, drying and curing, I can move on to another project. Okay, so let's talk about using PVA to glue pages. I'm not crazy about it. Uh, I just don't find it has enough slip and it, it doesn't cooperate. Uh, but some people love it, so... Um, don't mind me. One thing that I do when I use it is I like to give it more slip. And I do this by painting my page with some clean water. Uh, another reason that this is a good thing to do is because, uh, especially when working with vintage books, the paper can be very dry and thirsty. And any liquid that is already here is just going to kind of not not really give you a lot of play. So we've got a layer of water here. And I'm just going to start painting with the PVA. And I'm working it into the water that's on the page. The, the light coating of water. So again, you want to probably hold this up to the light. Look at it and make sure that you have a nice, consistent layer and that you don't have pools or, or puddles and mind your corners again you want to take your parchment paper and your straight edge and make sure that everything is nice and flat and even and sealed Especially on this one, because of the water, it's going to just work everything together. And I would also, especially if this was in a book, I would go ahead and weight this down. But you can see that you do have a nice flat uh, piece of work to start with here. Finally, let's quickly talk about adding images, gluing in your images, which is very, very important in your uh, paper-based mixed media work because you want it to have that, uh, you know, to look like it's just one, one page, that it's all the same thing. So very similar, I'm going to take my adhesive and just put a nice, healthy layer. You can see I'm doing this on the greaseproof paper so that it doesn't make too much of itself and now I'm going to put it on my page and see it's not really wanting to give already but if you cover it with this 
And then you want to really Another advantage to doing uh, the images with the greaseproof paper is if you have any little bits of glue that, that come out from the edges, you're going to see them very clearly in this uh, wax paper, and then you can go in and clean it up quickly before it dries. And there you go. Again, I would cover this with paper and weight it down uh, for a couple of hours. But there you go. If you have any feedback or questions, something I missed, please let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Uh, also, please subscribe to my channel if you like more book arts. And don't forget about subscribing to the newsletter if you are uh, would like that. Until later, get up and go make something.